Hey guys, Brickcoin here with some very interesting LEGO news. LEGO has officially announced the LEGO Queer Eye The Fab Five Loft set. I am shocked that they decided to make this set. Um, and I want to say right up front, I have absolutely no problem with them making it. I, I don't care at all. I'm not one of those. I know uh, some people think this is a very controversial set. I personally don't. I have <laughs> no issue with it whatsoever. In fact, the set itself looks really cool. I have never seen the show. I mean, obviously I know what it is, but I've never watched it. Uh, but the loft itself looks like a really good set, actually. Um, if you read through the details here, uh, it does have 974 pieces. They don't have a price uh, yet, or that hasn't been revealed, obviously. Um, but with 974 pieces, I'm guessing anywhere from like 80 to 100 dollars. I don't know. Could be more than that. We'll we'll have to wait and see on that part. Uh, but. I mean, you can at least see what the set looks like. They have been hinting at this in social media for a while. Um, so, I mean, it's not that surprising. We've kind of known that it's probably coming, but it is still like, I, I'm, I'm still shocked that they decided to make one based on Queer Eye. Uh, but honestly, I was kind of surprised that they decided to make one, you know, on like, Seinfeld and and older shows like that too so I don't know <laughs> I, I'm just surprised that they're going more into doing uh, sets based on shows in general it's not this specific one um, but you can also read through all of this I know in a YouTube video it, it's very boring to put you know words up and just be like read all this so let me kind of give you a little uh, summary or, or point out the interesting parts um, in in the pictures, you just see the five guys and the dog, um, which is great. The minifigures look awesome. Uh, love the hair pieces, they, they look great. Now, if we go back to all this boring words, there is one interesting thing that I noticed. Um, it does include two versions of Kathy Dooley, uh, which shows her before and after makeover. Um, and I, like I said, I've never watched the show, so I had to kind of look up and see who she was. And basically, she was like a former music teacher, and she had a mullet when she started. So I guess we're going to get a new Lego mullet, um, or I guess it's new. It might not be new, but um, <laughs> that, for some reason, they decided to keep that part a secret because you don't see her pictured in the set at all. So I found that kind of interesting that they are um, still kind of holding back some stuff to reveal later, I guess. Uh, but that's kind of cool. It says that there's also like a, a transformation room or something, uh, some way that you can kind of reveal her transformation, which also sounds really cool. Um, I like the idea um, of, of the set. It, I mean, if you just look at the loft, it looks really nice and you have lots of these white uh, masonry bricks back here uh, to build the whole uh, outside of it which I really like. I love those masonry pieces so it's nice to get a whole bunch of them in white like that. Um, the sets like this are really great for um, filming you know stop motions and stuff like that. Uh, all kinds of stuff like that you know these work great for. It's, it's a really nice little room or little loft area. And if you look at the minifigures, uh, really great designs on these, um, interesting looks. And I love this guy's pants. I know I've, I've seen him probably more than any of the others, but I don't know any other names. I, I've, like I said, I've never watched the show. Um, and of course the adorable little dog, uh, which is not new to Lego. They've had that before, but I don't think I've gotten one of those yet. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. And this is kind of a picture from part of the set, uh, which I noticed you're gonna get extra torsos so you can change out their looks, which for a show like this, it almost seems like a requirement. Um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm glad that they included that. Um, I would like to see what the other two torsos behind this one are. Although the printing on this front one looks great. Love it. Um, and then there's just one last picture, kind of add a little, 
a uh, little detail to it. So the set looks great. Um, I, I am, honestly, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys, I'm probably going to have to skip the set, and it's not because I hate it or anything like that. Uh, it's financial reasons, I just can't get every set, uh, but the set does look awesome. And actually, okay, so Kathy is not hidden. She is in this picture. I just noticed she is in this picture. Okay, so <laughs> she's not she's not shown in any other picture uh, except this one and this little picture on a box. Oh wait, there it is. Okay, so and then there's the little transformation thing. It's on the back of the box. There you can see her. I was looking through all the other pictures and I was like, I don't see her. I don't see her. Okay, now I see uh, that person. So that's you know, who they're doing the makeover on. Um, they said that the, that was like a really special episode for some reason. I don't know the, the reason for that, but the set looks great. I love it. Uh, if I could, I would probably get the set, but I've, I've missed several sets that I wanted to get lately um, for the same reason. So anyway, I really want to hear from you guys what you think about the Lego Queer Eye fab five loft set uh do you love it hate it gonna skip it get it let me know your thoughts in the comments below and i will see you guys next time damn that's cool